Hey guys, I'm kind of getting used to a temporary situation here. I'm no longer in my office in Rayburn on the house side. I'm officially moved over to the basement uh, of, the, of the Russell building. So we're in a temporary holding pattern here for the next few months. And, uh, and, and we're also in a lame duck session. Well, what is a lame duck session? Lame duck session is typically the period between the, the um, after the election to when the new Congress starts. Our new Congress actually starts January 3rd. So January 3rd, I'll officially come out of the House and be sworn into the Senate. We'll start the 118th Congress. And when you have a transition of power, when you have one party that was in charge that lost an election and leaving, the lame duck session becomes an opportunity for them to put all their wish lists. They throw the kitchen sink at it. They want to cram everything down because they didn't get it done while they were in power and they want to do it as they're going out. And then, of course, the, the, the party, which in this case, the Republicans, we want to prevent, prevent that from happening. And so it's just a lot of jockeying that goes back and forth. And this is a prime opportunity for them to do this on a spending bill, which was what we'll do with a continuing resolution, a CR. Um, and, and so we have to pay attention to it. Obviously, while we're all in transition, we also can allow something like this to move forward because I think the American people spoke. They said, we don't want Nancy Pelosi in charge anymore. We're done with this. We don't like the direction that she was leading the country. We don't like the economy that she's left us with. We want to make sure that we have something different. So they've elected Republicans and Speaker-elect Kevin McCarthy will take the gavel and retire Pelosi, finally, thank goodness, for good. But what happens in this period here, this the, the, really the next four weeks, is vitally important because it could set the stage on what our spending levels could be, what type of legislation is signed by President Biden over the next, that will be in effect, honestly, for the next year off of one single package. And they're trying to literally cram it through. They're going to pass a, a, a short-term spending bill, and then they want to do a full year. There's no telling how much waste will be in this bill. We're going to go through it. We want to do what's best for the American people, but it's going to be very tough to support something like this. I think we should wait. I think we should do just like a small 30-day until the Republicans take charge or maybe a 60-day until the Republicans take charge and then get the priorities and put the priorities back that the American people want. That's why they, as I said, kicked them out of office. Anyways, guys, this is what lame duck, lame duck session is. We're going to continue to sit here um, and, and, and read over it, see the legislation that's coming in, and do our best to represent the great state of Oklahoma. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.